Hi, this is Shar with LoveToCo.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're currently working through a series on building a Swing GUI to connect to a database. We are currently at video 12.7, updating an existing employee. Let's expand on our previous examples. Now we'd like to add the feature to update an existing employee in the database. Before we get into coding, let's take a look at a demo. So when we run our application, we can go ahead and hit search. This will give us a list of all employees. Now what I'd like to do is select one of my employees, and then I'll go ahead and click Update Employee. This will bring up a GUI that's pre-populated with that employee's information. And in this example, I'll just change the person's first name. And I'll also update their email address. And I'll also update their salary. And then I'll hit Save. And we'll notice that it'll tell us that the update was successful and also this person, Larry Davis. And as you can see, he has a new email address and an updated salary. So everything worked out as desired. Now to add this functionality, we have a to-do list. The first thing we'll need to do is update our DAO. We'll need to add a method that will handle updating an existing employee to the database. We'll make use of a SQL update statement for this. Next, we'll have to reuse our existing employee form. We'll modify the code to add or update depending on the mode selected by the user. Finally, we need to tie all this together with the main GUI. We need to add a new button called Update Employee. When the user clicks on the button, then it will show our employee form pre-populated with data from the current employee. Well, we have our work cut out for us. Let's get started. So I'll switch over to Eclipse. We have this class called Employee DAO, and we're going to add a new method called Update Employee. So I'll move to this method now. This method takes in a parameter, which is an employee object. Then what we'll do is we'll prepare a statement where we say update employees. We set first name, last name, email, salary, where ID equals that given employee's ID. Now we go through and we set the parameters for first, last, email, salary, and also the employee ID. Finally, we do an execute update. This submits the uh, statement to the database and it performs the update accordingly. Now we'll move over to the employee dialog. And this is basically a refactored version of our add employee dialog. So we we'll add two new fields for the previous employee and the update mode. And we add another constructor where we pass in these two parameters. Then we keep track of the previous employee. We set the update mode accordingly. And if the update mode is true, then we'll set the title of this dialog to be update employee and we'll also populate the GUI with the previous employee information. So now I'll move to the save employee method. So this is the standard save employee method that we had before. However, now we're gonna add where we check for the update mode. So if the update mode is true, then we'll set, we'll, we'll set the uh, last name, first name, email, salary based on information from the GUI, else we'll create a brand new employee object. And then finally, if update mode, we say employeeDAO.updateEmployee. Else, we say employeeDAO.addEmployee. And that's it for the dialog. Then over our, on our employee search app, we have this button called Update Employee. And I'll move to the source code for it. And we already have the handler set up for us. I'll just kind of walk through the code here for the handler. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the selected row. So I'll call this method, it'll return the actual row. I first need to make sure that the row is greater than zero. Um, if it's less than zero, then I'll show an error message saying, hey, you must select an employee. So this means that a row is not selected. Then I get the current employee from the table. Then using this, I create the employee dialog and I pass in the values and I pass in the value of true, that means update, and then I show the dialog and make it visible. All right, so the code looks good. Let's go ahead and run the application. I'll hit the search button to get a list of all employees. I'll select one of these employees, and I'll click the update employee button, show the form pre-populated with that employee's data. I'll change this employee's first name to Larry. I will also update his email address and also increase his salary to 98,000. We'll hit save. It'll give us the confirmation. 
and we should have an updated employee named Larry Davis with a salary of 98000 Great job. All right, so that wraps up our video for updating an existing employee in the database. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos in Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also, visit our website lovetoco.com to download the Java source code used in this video.